twin girls are in here. Can we talk? Can you guys tell me your name? safe side and make sure I got the ages right. You guys are 12. Thomas is 14. Is Thomas in here with us? You trying to stop the girls from talking to me? Thomas, leave these girls alone. I just want to get their names and have a conversation with them. This has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you at all. Leave me alone. Hmm. I feel them move across me. Okay, twin number one, can you tell me your name now? Okay, please speak to my spirit and tell me. Is your name Sylvia? Twin number two. You're Cynthia. So the twins are Sylvia and Cynthia. And your last name is Whitfield. Sylvia and Cynthia Whitfield. I kind of feel like there's a Sabrina here too. Is there a Sabrina in this house? Did she belong to another family? Was she your sister? Hmm. Did she sleep in this room with you and uh, Sylvia? Sabrina is 10 years old. Sabrina, can you show me where you're at, Shelby? Exactly where I thought she was going to be at, by that closet. And let me show you guys why. What if you guys remember the old baby doll bottles? I just found one over in that closet. I think it belonged to uh, Sabrina. Did that bottle belong to you, to you play, for you to play with? Did it belong to someone who lived here after you guys passed away? Did it belong to someone in the Griffin family? Are there members of the Griffin family in this house with me now? So these little glasses down here, 
that I, I see and I'm looking at now, did they belong to one of the Griffin children? A little girl? A blonde haired little girl? A 10 year old little girl? No, 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 no. Was she 11? She here with me? Okay, young lady, show me where you're at, please. Are you standing there by your glasses? Any of you out there who know the significance of pine cones, see down there? See the pine cone? But you see the pine cone there. Then, over in the corner there, there's no more, more pine cones. Is that a significant thing here? Does it have a meaning to it? If so, what might it be? Are those pine cones significant to you? Okay, young Miss Griffin, can you tell me your first name? Is your name Charlotte? Charlene? Charlene Griffin, 11 years old. I think I just really royally screwed up on something. Hopefully not. The reason I said I think I might have screwed up is I picked this thing up and it had little little things in it. Like little broken pieces of plastic. Almost like a baby doll looking stuff like from the baby doll here that I had. Charlene, the baby doll that I found outside, does that belong to you? Are you angry that I took the head off of her? I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Okay. Will you be angry if I take those glasses home with me? Are there other Griffin spirits in this home? Are there spirits in a room next to me that belong to the Griffin family? Are they downstairs? All right, guys. 
Let's head downstairs. Okay guys, let's go down the stairs. And as always, I've got to do this, shorten my legs here so I can get them down here. If not, I'm gonna be bumping into everything. And again, I apologize for the movement and shaking of the camera, but I wanted you to have the live effect. And I just dropped my dowsing rod, so it's not good. That is not good, not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Um, it's okay, pick them up. Stick them in my pocket. There we go. Okay guys, here we go. feels better down here. It's a lot cooler. Open this door up and let's get some air in here. Oh, it's finally quit raining a little bit. That's good. I can give you guys a view of the house in the daytime so you can see more of where I'm actually at. I'll give you a feel for it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's walk around here. See what we can find. I've never done this for this house yet, so this is a first for me also. I think what I will do though, is um, go and start the necrophonic up while I'm walking around here. stop the necrophonic because I don't have my speaker on me right now. It'd be very hard for you guys to hear it. At one time, this was a very beautiful, beautiful home. Let's see what's over here. I've not even been over here yet. See, can we discover this together? Oh, my leg. That's just a fence gate. Hit my leg. No big deal. About to flip over there, though. See what's out here. Guys, this is probably one of the freakiest daytime videos I've ever done. I ain't worried about what I'm gonna find in here, so. Hey guys, just stay with me. Turn the light on so you can see. This building is not so bad.
all the stuffed animals. Somebody had a metal detector. An old TV with an old remote tape to the top of it. You don't see that every day. Not a lot to see here. Let's go to the other building. And this is the one that concerns me because it looks like it may be locked, which means it's holding something. Let's find out. This smell is kind of new, man. It's like it might have been a place for a dog. It's got a dog bowl there. I'm not really sure. It smells new, though. Hell, I would love to have this building. out here that was fertilizer in there guys in case you were wondering Shut this door back good so the wind won't blow it open. Sure, I'm glad I wore my boots today. I started to stick my tennis shoes on, but I was like, no, nah, you know, it's been raining. Maybe I should wear my boots. And it's a good thing that I did. Or I wouldn't be able to come out here and do this with you guys. Doing this little thingy here. I think it's called an arbor arch. Hell, I don't know what it's called. It's just a thing I'm walking under. Now you're looking at the back of the house there. That would have been a good patio area to have a good grill at. Now we're back here again. So, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about taking her home with me. But I'm kind of freaked out about her too. Like I could take her home and clean her up.
don't know, I got such a feeling. Now I've always been told not to take anything from haunted areas. But I've already got that damn uh, negative um, picture in my pocket so I can go home and study it. See if that door's come back open yet. No, she actually has kept it closed, guys. I'm really, really surprised. It's old ass wallpaper right there, man. Old wallpaper. as is this. And you can tell where they built that wall up around that fireplace because the fireplace originally would have extended out with a mantle on it. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and uh, grab my speaker. We're gonna do a small, short session with the Necrophonic, and then I'm gonna have to call this investigation for the day. Sorry guys, just trying to get things situated. Speak to me, please. Is there a member of the Griffin family in here with me? You said you're here. I hear you. I heard you. You said you told me you were here, okay? Show me where you're at. The one who just told me you're here, show me where you're at. You're standing over by the window, by the door, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see if I'm right. Are you standing over by the door? I'm feeling chills now on my right side. Are you now moving over toward me? 
Are you curious about this device that I have sitting in front of me? This is just a little box that I can turn on and you can use the voices in there to speak to me like you just did a while ago when you told me you were here. Nothing to be scared of. This is called a necrophonic. It won't hurt you. It's just a little way for you to communicate with me. Are you afraid of this device? Don't be. Don't be afraid of it. It's just going to help us talk. Is that okay? Guys, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm going to sit in my spirit balls out here. I'm back out of the way, so if they go off, you can see it. Put this picture right here so I don't forget it. Okay, there's two little balls that I got up here. You just come up to them and touch them, and it'll make them light up pretty colors. Can you do that? Okay, go ahead and do that for me if you want to. You don't have to, but if you did, that would be really cool. Is this a member of the Griffin family? Is this a member of the Whitfield family? Is this Thomas? Good. Is this young Mr. Whitfield, 22-year-old? I cannot remember your name. I think your name is John, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to call you Mr. Whitfield. Is this you? Is this the mom? Is this Cynthia or Sylvia? If it's Cynthia, make the left dowsing rod move. Sylvia, make the right dowsing rod move. Okay, Sylvia. You don't have to be afraid of this. You don't have to be afraid at all. If I turn it back on, will you come um, try to maneuver the, the voices so you can speak? Okay, Sylvia. <laughs> Speak to me, please. this for a minute. Guys, what I'm going to do now is something I said I wasn't going to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Actually, I can use this camera for it. And I can still keep rolling while I'm doing this one. So, never mind that last comment. I'm going to try to go live uh, for just a minute because I want to ask you guys opinion about something. And I know that... Um, this is not going to happen unless, um, unless you guys tell me. But I want to show you guys something. Okay, first let me tell you this story. I found this baby doll outside, one of the larger baby dolls, and the body was all mutilated. I mean, tore up, just, you know, no, not a good shape at all. But I decided, okay, Mr. Smartass here, I'm going to take the head off this baby doll, and I'm going to use it as a trigger object. Well, it worked. 
no doubt. I found out there's a little girl here, a little 11 year old girl. Um, I cannot remember her first name, but her last name is Griffin. It'll be on the video you'll see tonight. She was pissed at me for taking that head off. And I'm wondering, should I take that head home with me? You guys tell me what you think. I'm gonna show it to you. Y'all see that? Is that creepy or what? Super duper creepy, right? Okay, so here's my question to you guys. You see that baby doll head right there? You guys see that thing? Should I take that home with me? If I did, it would be the first in my um, collection of haunted objects. But I don't know what to do. I'm kind of on the fence with it. I kind of want to. Then again, at the same time, I'm kind of iffy. Let me tell you, man, um, I already had one ghost, a little girl, 11-year-old little girl, so she was pissed because I took the doll head off the body, but the body was totally just torn to pieces. Okay, Katina's saying don't. Yeah, it is creepy as hell. No lie. And when you see the video tonight, you'll see some things that, um, that happen around this. Um, Rhonda... Um, it came from the house that I'm at now, the old Whitfield house. Hey, David. Hey, Shimmer Soul. All of you guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Teresa says she don't think I should take it. Katina said wouldn't recommend you taking that home. Okay, it stays here then. It will stay here. I will not take it home. Though, um, I'm telling you, that's a creepy son of a bitch right there. Okay, let's go, guys. I'm going to let you go with me while I do this. Here we go. One creepy-ass doll. See the body? That body's just totally messed up. I'm just going to sit the head right there with the body. Should I put it back on the body? Okay. I'll try to put it back on. There. I put it back on the body right there guys Whew. a little freaky man a little freaky so yeah it is freaky looking Doris you know I've been investigated a lot of places and had a lot of different reactions to different things. Let me take my dowsing rods with me. Oh, by the way, guys, my new dowsing rods came in today. I was super stoked about that. Okay, David, I'll try that. I didn't even, didn't even think about that. Let's see if I get that leg put back on. Um, the leg was was already off when I got here, but I'm gonna try to reattach it anyway, just to see what kind of goodness we can bring about by doing so. And I, it's gonna be pretty much impossible because part of it's broken, but I will make it look the best that I possibly can.
Yeah, Teresa, this one freaked me out pretty much. Um, from the time I got here, and you'll see in the video tonight, whenever I set the, the doll up, the doll's head up, you'll see the kind of reactions that I got from, um, from the spirit balls. Um, they were going off like crazy. The dowsing rods were going. Um, by the way, my new dowsing rods, blah, 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 blah. Love these boogers. Um, so I got my dowsing rods and I was like, you know, I got to do something because I don't have any, I didn't have anything recorded to upload for tonight. So I did this video in the live style. It's all recorded, but it's going to be in the live style. So you guys will get more of an idea exactly what goes on with all my investigations each time I do one. And I'm going to do this every Thursday from now on. You guys will be with me just like if you were walking with me. So, pretty creepy around here, guys. I can set my glasses back on so I can see you again. Yeah, that was as close as I could get it, David. As close as I could get it, man. I think I'm going to leave my car where it's at right now. And I'm going to walk down the road just a little bit. And, um, actually, no, I can't. Damn it. Yeah, I got that same feeling, David, like it's a, a, a little bit more at ease now that I put it back together. Let's find out right quick from this little, um, this Griffin girl and see if we're correct on this. Can I speak with the 11-year-old Griffin girl? Are you at ease now that I put the doll back together? Are you still angry at me? Are you glad that I did this? Very good. So yeah, guys, you're right. The spirit's more at ease. She's more calm now. She's more calm now that I've put the doll back together. Yeah, David, you're right. They don't like it. They don't like it at all, man. Don't like it at all. Um, there's a pair of glasses upstairs, too, that belong to this little girl. And I started to grab those glasses, but I was like, hell to the no. You know, bad enough I had that, my hands on that baby doll head. And I want you to look, guys. It's raining like crazy now. I don't know if you can tell it from the video. You guys see that rain coming down? And this town's already bad enough about flooding. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. I'm going to and go ahead and end this video and uh, end this live. And I will have this video ready for tonight. I got to go home right quick and, and do a little bit of quick editing. And uh, it'll be back together. So until next time, guys, this is Neil. And I'll see you on the flip side.